Last minute, the last month rather, Prime Minister Modi travelled to France. It was a high profile visit. You watched it here on First Post. Modi was a guest of honour on the French National Day. He was given the highest award of France, the Legion of Honour. He attended the Bastille Day Parade. An Indian contingent marched down the Champs Elysees. It was quite a grand affair, and the cameras captured it. But another story was playing out behind the scenes, and tonight we want to tell you about that story. Away from the fanfare in Paris, a French Navy ship showed up in the Indian Ocean. The ship is called Lorraine. It visited Colombo. It was welcomed by the Sri Lankan Navy. It conducted what is called a passing exercise. And what is that? It's a type of military exercise. It is done to enhance military cooperation. It improves coordination between two forces. So what kind of drills did France and Sri Lanka engage in? Well, they conducted formations and ship maneuvers, also communication exercises. The French vessel stayed in Colombo for four days. We have some photographs. Take a look at this. That's the commander of the French Navy on board the Lorraine. What do you make of the timing of this exercise? The French naval ship in Sri Lanka when Prime Minister Modi was in Paris. It was not a coincidence. India is building up its naval power. It is... It has, in fact, set a plan in motion, and France is an important player in this plan. The plan has two parts, upgrading weapons and enhancing cooperation. Let's take it one by one. The upgrades first. The Indian Navy is adding more muscle. India wants nuclear-powered submarines, not one or two. India wants to acquire six of them. France has aced this technology. And they're ready to supply to India. Reports say talks are already underway. The idea is to get nuclear submarines. These are next generation subs. They run on nuclear power and they generate their own power. How does it work? There is a small reactor on the submarine. The reactor powers it and unlocks immense capability. Nuclear submarines have limitless range. They're difficult to detect and they travel fast. The older submarines needed refueling. So they had to surface often. They could not remain submerged for long periods of time. They could not go for long missions. But a nuclear submarine, a nuclear-powered submarine, does not have this weakness, which is why India needs it. Reports say New Delhi is prioritizing this purchase. Earlier, the Navy wanted an aircraft carrier. It was supposed to be called the IAC-2. That stands for Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 2, IAC. Indigenous, meaning they wanted to build one at home. The carrier was supposed to be designed and manufactured in India, but for now, that plan is on hold. Apparently, the focus now is on smaller ships and stealthy submarines, like the ones that France wants to provide. And why is Paris interested in arming the Indian Navy? There's big money involved, of course. We don't have a figure, but given that we're talking nuclear submarines, it could run into millions of dollars. Plus, France has some history. It was supposed to build such nuclear subs for Australia. The deal was for 12 submarines worth $66 million, but it did not happen. France was betrayed by its own friends. In 2021, a military alliance called AUKUS was announced. AUKUS stands for Australia, UK and US. They sprung a rude surprise on the French. Australia pulled out of the deal with France. It signed up to procure subs made by America and the UK. France called Australia's move quote-unquote, a stab in the back and a betrayal. It lost the money, also the chance to build an alliance in the Indo-Pacific. So France has turned to India, and India could use their technology, so it's a win-win for both. New Delhi has cleared the purchase, but the final agreement is yet to be locked. Both sides are confident about pushing this through, so that's one part of India's plan, upgrading the weapons. The second part is expanding cooperation. The French visit to Sri Lanka was all about this. We saw more action last week. This time, two frontline ships of the Indian Navy sailed to the Pacific. They docked in Port Moresby. That's the capital of Papua New Guinea. So the Indian ships made a port call. They engaged with local officials. What were Indian Navy ships doing in the Pacific? Again, there is a French connection. Last month, during Prime Minister Modi's visit, India and France made a deal. They agreed to expand cooperation in the Pacific. The joint statement said India and France are quote-unquote resident powers and key partners with vital stakes in the Indo-Pacific. They promised to work together, and soon enough, the Indian Navy made a port call in the Pacific. The result is the Indian Navy's port call, like I said, not the first of its kind and certainly not the last. But these events mark an important shift in India's posture. 